Hello you dumb people, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna teach you something that's really stupid that you guys don't know about. Everything I said was a joke. Anyways, welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna teach you how to make corruptions on um on your PC and it's really easy to be honest. All you have to do now is uh, install this app called Real Time Corruptor. If you don't know what Real Time Corruptor is, it's basically an app that allows you to m that allows you to that allows you to have any emulators and allows you to also corrupt any single app that you find on the internet, whatever the shit that is. Anyways, so yeah, after that you uh, you need to go to this page. You'll see a bunch of stuff that's not even really the same thing. So then you need to download RTC Launcher. So since you're, since I would also recommend you have Windows 10 64 bits. If you don't if you don't have that, you're a total loser. Just kidding. Anyways. I'm gonna download it, I'll be right back. Okay, so now we're in the corruption menu. So you see a bunch of stuff here. This is completely new to me because I haven't done this before, just kidding. Well actually I did, because if you saw because if you saw this stupid video of Sonic One Title Screen Corruptions, I'll probably do Sonic 2, but I won't, okay. Lol. Anyways, so all you have to do now is go on to downloader. And then you'll see a bunch of versions of Real Time Corruptor. I would recommend you download 5.0.6 because it's the latest version and it's really helpful, to be honest. It is really helpful, and if you don't do and if you don't do it, you're a total loser. Just kidding. Well, again, okay, anyway, it says the download package contains a new launcher update. Do you want to update the launcher? And you say yes. So right after that, it's installed. Boom, that it's installed, and you have a bunch of um, emulators, and all of those are basically just emulators that uh, you know. So then, uh, well, if you want to corrupt like retro games, you you use BizHawk and stuff. So I'm gonna teach you how to do that, not the others, cause those are basically just the same thing. Okay. Anyways, BizHawk. It says the following company is missing. BizHawk, and you download it, and you say yes. So it's gonna take a while. So we'll be right back. <coughs> All right. Now that we skipped that boring little thing, we're gonna click on BizHawk, and then after that. Uh, you need to read this if it's your first time using this. So yeah, okay. So yeah, so I read the bar warning. I would recommend you use simple mo mode, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna use normal mode because I am great at this. So yeah, it's basically the same thing, you know that. So yeah. So all you have to do now is um, let me maximize that sexy window for you. Okay, anyway, so now that we have that, we're gonna have to in now we're gonna have to open a ROM. How do we do that? We go to the WoW ROMs. Yeah, of course, that's what you have to do. Okay, so now that you need to go to WoW ROMs, it's basically the best site for you to download stuff. I mean, this is basically a website that I saw, and you, I would recommend you download that. It has no viruses or anything, so I'm going to probably install Sonic the Hedgehog 3, because that's one of my favorite games to corrupt. Okay, so now that you download that... All you have to do- Oh shit! It got broken! <laughs> Alright, so I deactivated my antivirus, now it's activated. Yeah, let's do that. Wow, cool. Okay, let's go that. Yay! Alright, so now that you have your stupid ROM here, all I have to do now is drag its sex- Okay, no, I'm just kidding. So yeah, now you have the game, but now- Uh, how- What- So now you may be questioning yourself. What are these commands? What do they do? Well, okay, let me show you real quick. The intensity is how the amount of corruption you want. So that, I mean, how much corruption you want, like if it has, has to be a lot or something, or error delay is. How many seconds do you want your error, do you want the corruption as to waste? So it's like, after, after one millisecond, the intensity grows by one. It's that easy. And now you can have this blast radius, which I'm not gonna talk about because you because you guys are, because you guys find this useless. So uh, the engines, you, these are kind of useful. The nightmare engine is just basically um, that it corrupts basically everything from the game. Distortion literally corrupts every single audio, and the others I don't know what that is. So please don't, please don't do that. So now we're gonna go to the distortion engine. We're gonna um, change a little bit the intensity, and we're gonna change the error delay. And once we press start. The game crashed because due to um having a lot of bad options here. So after that, you may see that there are hotkeys as well. That for some reason, if you want if you want to rewind, you can press. I'm gonna put backspace because I would recommend you do that. And you fast forward by pressing um fast forward. So then uh if you want to restart, cr press Control and R at the same time. So then you press tap to fast forward. 
And the good thing about this is that if you hold tab, the um, the um, the corruption will stop unless you stop pressing a button. And then you'll see the corruption happening. See, now it's corrupting. Okay, that was the tutorial. Please make sure to like and subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed my stupid little video. Huh, Sonic died! Ah!